welcome back to using closed captions in Sony's Vegas Pro 10A. Last time we went through adding the captions to the timeline. This time we need to look at how to export captions. Actually exporting them is easy, but I'm going to break this presentation down into two sections. First, what formats are easy to support in Vegas Pro 10A? Then I will actually go through the steps to export them. I cannot cover all the possibilities, but we will look at a few of the most common needs associated with closed captions. No matter what file format you render to, you have the ability to produce an external captions file for a variety of purposes. These include Scenarist, YouTube, Real Player, Windows Media, QuickTime, and DVD Architect. These files let you synchronize the captions at playback time the way YouTube and Windows Media do, or allow you to import the captions into other software for things like DVD subtitles. For standard definition files, I have found the output to be missing a few important options. While the online help says that Line 21 captions will be placed in any media that is 720 by 486 or taller with a frame rate of 29.97, and the trick is that MPEG-2 files of 720 by 486 will not render in Vegas Pro 10A, and the DV codec is limited to 720 by 480 by design. These two common delivery formats for standard definition cannot be captioned in Vegas Pro at this time without delivering an external file. I've found the best options for delivering standard definition files are to deliver a 720x486 MPEG-1, a 720x486 YUV encoded video for Windows AVI file, or a 720x486 Sony MXF using the NTSC MPEG IMX50 template. For high definition files, you can send out captions inside Sony MXF files, or you can send them out to tape via HDSDI. Vegas Pro does not support captions inside an MP4 file of any format. So you've decided on your delivery format. So how do we make it happen? I will break it down into three workflows. Captions inside SD and HD files, printing to tape through HDSDI, and finally, delivering external caption files. It is really very easy to deliver captions inside a 720x486 MPEG-1 file, a 720x486 YUV encoded video for Windows AVI file, or a 720x486 NTSC MPEG IMX50 Sony MXF file. The same is true for the delivery of high-definition Sony MXF files. With your caption markers on the timeline, set up your render the way you normally would and render it as normal. In this case, we will render a 720x486 Sony YUV encoded video for Windows AVI file. We select the type as Video for Windows and choose the NTSC SD YUV template. Let's give the file a name of intro yuv.avi. Click on Save, and you are rendering the file with the captions. Vegas Pro will also leave a file called introyuv.avi.scc in the same directory folder with your rendered file. That is an external Scenarist caption file. You can deliver that for other uses I will talk about later, or you can delete it. Your captions are in the rendered YUV file. For captions inside the delivery of high-definition files of a Sony MXF type, it is the same process. Just choose one of the HD templates with the Sony MXF file type for your render. If you are printing to tape through an HD SDI interface, the process is also easy. With your caption command markers in place, use the Tools menu and select Print to Tape. Select your supported AJA or Blackmagic Design SDHDI device and print to tape normally. The captions will be sent through the SDHDI as VANC data. Finally, let's take a look at the external caption files that you can generate. No matter what format you render, Vegas is going to create a Scenaris.scc file with the captions in it. You will see why that's important with the way Vegas Pro operates with version 10A. No matter what loop region you select and render, the .scc file will have the captions synchronized with the render. When you load a file into Vegas Pro that doesn't have captions in the file, it will look for a .scc file for it so that you have caption information available that is in sync. 
When using digital intermediates like Cineform or uncompressed media where Vegas Pro does not add captions internally, this allows you to have captioning information in place. If you are used to placing your bars, slate, and such on your timeline for print to tape, or you do not start your program at the far left-hand side of the timeline for any reason, then we have to do a little work to create a perfectly synchronized caption file for Real Player, YouTube, Windows Media Player, QuickTime, and DVT Architect. The included scripts do not use the ruler time or any other offset to create the time locations for the captions. That means if you are rendering a segment starting at 20 seconds on the timeline and going on to one minute, and you have a caption located at five seconds into the program, the caption file will show the caption at 25 seconds into the video, not at five seconds. I guess you could edit your timeline and move the section to render to the far left, or instead take advantage of that .scc file that Vegas makes with each render that has captions, even if the captions aren't inside the file. Here's how I do it. I place the caption command markers on the timeline. Then I select the area that I want to render. I render that file. Now I start a new project. I put the newly rendered media on the timeline on the far left side. Then I promote the captions that Vegas Pro found in the .scc file. Now I use the appropriate script to render the external caption file of my choice. Let's go back through that last part. I drag the newly rendered file to the timeline. You will see event markers in the event on the timeline. Those are the captions found in the .scc file for that media. They are properly in sync with your media. Right now, they do not serve as captions to Vegas Pro. They have to be promoted to caption command markers. Select your event on the timeline. Then go to Tools, Scripting, and Promote Media Closed Captions you now have caption command markers. Now go back to Tools, Scripting, and choose one of the five caption file types to export. You now have an external captions file. In the case of YouTube, it's ready to upload with your video. Next time, we will take a brief look at how to work with media that has already been captioned. Thanks for joining us.